What image is formed when we visualize the hospital? Is it a place where we would love to visit? Is it a place which is associated with happiness? Well, definitely no. We all would never want to be in a hospital. Because it is a place of fear, it is a place of death, it is a place of illness. But along with fear, along with death, hospital is also associated with healing and recovery. So today I have come for my ISC students with the poem Why I Like the Hospital by Tony Hoagland. So hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Jiana Home Tuition. So this is your channel as well. So please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification so that as I update my channel with new insight, you may get the notification. So the poem Why I Like the Hospital, written by Tony Hoagland. It expresses some harsh realities of life. So we see that our world has become a contemporary materialistic world with no liveliness. People have become emotionless. People have become self-centered. And so they cannot express their feelings to anyone openly. Especially we see the Western people who are accustomed with choking their feelings even if it is their personal loss. Now this eventually leads to loneliness. This eventually leads to depression that results in physical and mental instability. So therefore, sarcastically, it is in the hospital where there is no restriction of any kind to express pathos. So in this poem, we can see many heartbreaking pictures of pain, heartbreaking pictures of suffering in the hospital but in a humorous way. So the poem begins with the saying that the hospital is the only place where anyone can be in the bad mood and can also witness many scenes of sufferings. So let's start the poem. The poem opens up suddenly with a satire because it is all right to be in a bad mood there and that expresses the miserable life of the people nowadays. So the poem here opens abruptly because it is all right to be in a bad mood there. So the poem begins by stating that yes, Yes, it is acceptable to be in a bad mood. Where? In the hospital. The hospital is a place where people often feel vulnerable. And the poet here suggests that yes, that is a space where people are allowed, allowed to express their emotions. Slouching along through the underground garage. What is the meaning of slouching? Slouching here means standing sitting or moving in a lazy way. An underground garage is a parking garage located below the ground level. So the poet here describes the underground garage and this underground garage is often the first point of entry for patients and visitors. So the imagery of slouching here suggests a sense of weariness, a sense of reluctance. Riding wordlessly on the elevator with the other customer. Wordlessly means without speaking, without making, a, making any sound. So the poet here describes the elevator ride, which is a silent place. So a silent experience shared with other patients or visitors. So the word customers here suggest what? The word customer here suggests a commercial aspect to the hospital, which can be unsettling. Staring at the closed beach doors like a prison wall. So the poet here describes the closed doors of the elevator as, as a prison wall. Again, which suggests a sense of confinement. Now the color here is associated with institutional settings and adds to the sense of sterility. So these opening lines of this poem hints at the very theme of the poem. The poet here says that is, it's alright, it's alright to be in a bad mood in a hospital. Why? 
as here in the hospital no one would judge so a gloomy mood is presented here with the other customer the other patients where in the underground garage and the elevator so the underground garage and the elevator steer at the closed door in the hospital as if they are entering a prison wall i like the hospital for the way it grants permission for pathos the mother with cancer deciding how to tell her kids the bald girl gazing downwards at the shunt installed above her missing breast the crone in her pajamas walking with an iv pole i like the hospital for the way it grants permission for pathos so the poet here is highlighting that why he like the hospital he suggests that the hospital here provides permission permission for pathos which is the expression of sadness and suffering the mother with cancer deciding how to tell her kids so the poet here gives an example of the kind of pathos that can be observed in the hospital so he describes a mother with cancer who is deciding how to tell her children about her situation the poet also describes a bald girl the bald girl bald means without hair on the head gazing downward at the shunt at the shunt here means a surgical device that redirects the flow of fluids within the body so the poet here describes a bald girl who is looking down at the shunt installed above her missing breast now this is another example of the kind of suffering that is present in the hospital the poet then describes an older woman in her pajamas and the woman is walking with her iv pole now iv pole here means a stand that holds a bag of a bag of fluids to be administered intravenously so this image also suggests a sense of frailty and vulnerability in the next few lines the poet here says that i don't like the smell of antiseptic or the air conditioning set on high all night so the poet here says that what he does not like about the hospital so he says that he do not like the smell of antiseptic and the smell of antiseptic is often associated with hospitals and medical procedures what is an antiseptic it is a substance that inhibits the growth of microorganism and is used for cleaning wounds or sterilizing medical instruments so what we see here is that the poet here likes the hospital only because it allows a person to open his or her flood gates of emotions now this is only the place that permits a person to express his sorrow to express his loss express pain that too without hesitation so the poet here ironically tells that he likes to watch the mother who is having cancer having difficulty in deciding a way to tell her kids about her ailment there is also the mention of the bald girl who is staring with sad eyes at the shunt installed above her missing breast and he also mentions an old woman who is walking in the hospital with her iv pole to survive so the poet also here highlights that the poet does not like the smell of the antiseptic or the air conditioning set on high all, all night so the poet here describes the high air conditioning which can be uncomfortable for patients who are already struggling with their health or the fresh flowers tossed in the waste basket the poet describes the fresh flowers that are often brought to patients but are tossed into the waste basket now this image suggests a sense of fleetingness a sense of impermanence but i like the way some people on their plastic chairs break out a notebook and invent a complex scoring system 
to tally up the days on earth the column on the left that says time so acted like a fool facing the column on the right that says time so acted like a saint so the poet here says that that uh, he here he here describes that how some people on plastic chairs sitting invent complex scoring system to tally up the days on earth so the image here again suggests a sense of creativity and resourcefulness that too in the midst of sickness and suffering so the poet here describes how this scoring system tally up the times that people have acted like fools versus the time that they have acted like saints so the patient seems to have kept themselves occupied in the midst of their irreversible circumstances the poet describes the column on the left which represents the times people have acted like fools this column also suggests that people are not perfect and have made mistakes and then the poet describes the column on the right which represents the time people have acted like saints this column suggests that people are capable of goodness capable of compassion even in the midst of suffering so the narrator here the poet here tells his dislike about the smell of the antiseptic that is used in the hospital he he tells us about his strong dislike for his excessive for the excessive cold air coming from the air conditioner of the hospital and and also the fresh flowers in the waste basket as these are the signs of carelessness signs of antipathy again the poet uses the image of a fool and a saint which are amusing which are thought provoking and through these images the poet expresses that it is only the hospital where a person is compelled compelled to reflect over their own good or bad deeds i like the long prayer of the waiting the forced intimacy of the self with the self each sick person standing in the middle of a field like a tree wandering what happened to the forest prairie means a large open area of grassland so the poet here describes the waiting area the waiting area can be long and the metaphor of a prairie suggests a sense of emptiness so the poet describes how the waiting area can be a place where people are forced to confront themselves with their own emotions so this is a kind of intimacy that is not necessarily desired but is present now the poet describes how each sick person is standing in the middle of a field which reinforces the sense of isolation the sense of loneliness that can be felt in the hospital the poet uses the metaphor of a tree see the poet here shows us a picture of the sick and lonely person who are waiting to be taken taken care of but they have no one and so their waiting is pointless and they are forced into loneliness so each of the sick person are compared here with a lonely tree the lonely tree that is standing in the middle of a field the lonely tree wondering what could have happened with the forest next we see that and once i saw a man in a lime green dressing gown hunched over in a chair a man who was not yelling at the doctors or pretending to be strong or making a murmured phone call to his wife but one sobbing without shame pumping it all out from the bottom of the self the overflowing bilge of helplessness and rage a man no longer expecting to be saved lime green here means a bright green color so the poet here provides a specific example of something he observed in the hospital he is describing a man a man in a bright green color dressing gown and this is a striking image the poet describes how this man was not yelling at the doctor not pretending to be strong nor making a phone call to his wife so here another image is shown here we can see a man in a lime green dressing gown 
hunched over in a chair and he is neither yelling at the doctors nor trying to be strong nor he is making a phone call to his wife as he has no one to talk to so the poet describes that the man was not that that the man was crying crying without shame which suggests a sense of vulnerability a sense of emotional openness see crying is often associated with femininity and the man is assumed to be unnerving but this is this is this particular line here highlights how a man is equally vulnerable to the to the idea of illness and its consequences so the man is actually crying without shame and expressing his innermost feelings through his tears why he is feeling helpless as he has no one as he has no hope left for himself as he knows that he cannot be saved so the poet describes how the man was expressing his helplessness and rage which are emotions that are often suppressed but if you looked you could see that he was holding his own hand in sympathy listening to every single word and he was telling himself everything so the poet here describes how the man was holding his own hand which suggests a sense of self compassion the poet here concludes by saying that as the man has no one to whom he can depend he is holding his own hand in sympathy as he has none to talk to and express his feelings he is talking to himself so the poet here describes how the man was listening to every single word he was saying and this suggests a sense of self awareness and reflection the poet suggests that the man was telling himself everything so the poem here ends on this image which suggests a sense of emotional complexity and introspection so through this poem the poet expresses the harsh reality of today's world where we are all alone to face our own need so the ending is very complex so what is the theme of this poem the theme here is vulnerability the poem here highlights the vulnerability of patients as they face illness they face pain they face uncertainty so hogland here focus focuses on the emotional journey of patients delving into the complex emotions they experience in the hospital now the theme of self compassion is ev- evident in the poem as well particularly through the depictions of a man crying without shame holding his own hand listening to every word he tells himself so this scene suggests the importance of self compassion and self care during difficult times the poem also explores the theme of isolation as seen through the image of the sick person standing like a tree wandering about the forest representing what representing the loneliness the isolation felt by all those who are ill so the poem here acknowledges that the hospital is a place a hospital is a space where it is acceptable to be in a bad mood reflecting the notion that it is necessary to allow oneself to experience sadness and other negative emotions as well so so the title can be seen as an ironic statement as the hospital is not typically a place where people enjoy so the poet here presents a compassionate view of the hospital exploring the raw emotions and introspection that can occur in such a setting so by the end of the poem the title takes on a deeper and more profound meaning 
as the poet here reveals the beauty and humanity that can be found within the walls of the hospital only so in conclusion the title of the poem is actually a clever and effective way to introduce its theme and also capture the reader's attention so it sets up the paradoxical tone of the poem and challenges the reader's assumptions about the hospital's environment encouraging empathy and introspection moving on to the literary devices we come across metaphor we come across personification irony allusion so each sick person standing in the middle of a field here the tree is a metaphor each sick person standing in the middle of a field like a tree wandering what happened to the forest is also a simile where the sick person here is compared to a tree in a field standing alone we come across personification that is the overflowing bilge of helplessness and rage so here the bilge is personified as overflowing with emotions well irony because it is all right to be in a bad mood there this is ironic why because hospitals are typically associated with positive feelings such as healing and recovery yet the poet finds comfort in being allowed to express negative emotions in this setting now we also come across allusion the column on the left that says times i acted like a fool facing the column on the right that says times i acted like a saint now this is an allusion this is an allusion to the concept of judgment in christianity where one's action actions are weighed and evaluated against the moral standard so so i hope you have understood the poem please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching my channel have a wonderful day